Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Marie Steak. My review on the Married to Medicine from Bravo, I even had to get some kind of subscription to be able to watch so I can tell you guys how I feel. I've always really have a lot of love for that show. And based on what I have seen last night, I'm happy for Dr. G. He finally find love. And uh, But my concern is... Um, mm, Dr. G is married to this young lady, which is 25 years, way younger than him. And the way she find him is on social media, proposing something he's always wanted, which is a child and being married to a wife that come home and cook for him. I mean, she's from, I believe, is it Texas? Yeah, where they have the bulls and everything else. And, um... At first, when I saw her, I thought she was Toya's cousin or sister because they look alike so much. Beautiful young lady. And then later on, I realized she's a, she has a twin sister, and um, I'm a twin also, so power to the twins. So what, when I watched the whole thing, guys, now I have to pay $6 every month to make sure I have the Peacock, Peacock um, streaming so i can see all the bravo shows and come report it to you guys that's a new addition that i'm gonna be doing giving you my opinion my takes on what's going on on those shows people watch so of course you know somebody gonna have something to say whether it's good or bad so i said oh let me subscribe let me pay for it in a monthly basis so i can see those shows and know what's going on <sighs> oh my god phaedra is there looking fantastic good for her and we have Dr. Heavenly, Petty, and Trashy as always. A lot of people, a lot of people love her attitude, her love her ways. But um, I feel like it doesn't matter how much education you have. If you are from the ghetto area, if your mindset is ghetto, you're still going to be a ghetto person. Even though you are around a lot of educated people, even though you are educated. For some reason, the ghetto cannot get out of her system. A lot of people love her shadiness for that. Uh, I'm in the iffy way. She said a lot of stuff that makes sense. She said a lot of stuff a lot of people probably was thinking of the inside but not bringing it out. So that's on her. She's going to be who she is and good for her. But her husband, oh my God, the most wonderful man that we can see in those shows because he's very quiet, very all to himself, business oriented. But unfortunately... He's married this woman that always put him, you know, <laughs> down on the side. Anyhow, enough with Dr. Heavenly. Does Fedra belong in this show? I don't know. She's a lawyer. She's not a doctor or doctor's wife, but she could bring a lot of shitty stuff. Of course, she has a place there. And her boutique with all those nice suits uh, or coats. Yeah, she will do well. She will do well. Okay. She's dead in this uh, pediatric uh is it pediatric or card cardiologist yes yes i'm trying to remember all the stuff that i watch but the thing that caught my attention the most when they asked uh, sweet tea which is dr g's fiance to be wife soon when they asked her what is the most uh excited thing or important thing to be engaged she said is to be able to to get into the money a little bit i was like that's a red flag right there do you love dr g for him to be his wife to be able to have children with him to be able to have a family with him there was a lot of kissing a lot of passionate kiss affection going on but at the end of the day i don't know if it's like that behind the scene i don't know if it's because uh, the camera is on she's doing all that now, to be married to somebody who's 25 years older than you, Dr. G has to take this in consideration. You have to be very careful. She's 31, you're 56. What is it in it for her? Give you a few kids, later on divorce, got a nice child support, got a nice, um, oh God, how you call that? Um, you know, when you're married to somebody and they give you this um this check because you were married to them it seems that she she says she has a job she works at home she works for the state or something like that she cooks well dr g loves her food good for them good for them but when she said the fact that 
the most excited part to get engaged or married to Dr. G, it was to have access to the money. That's a red flag right there. Red flag all over the place. And who else? Dr. Who I forgot her name. Hmm. Simone and her best friend, they are back together again, being friend again, which is good. Oh, I forgot her name. I really like her. She dressed nice. And um, I've seen a few perfume from um, Bond Number no. 9 that I love. I saw in her in, in her place. I'm like, okay, she wore high. She goes really high. I like that about her. Damn, I forgot her name. She's really thin. She was married to this man. But I don't see much of that man in the show. Dr. Simone's best friend. I, I just cannot bring her name up right now. Please forgive me. I watched the show last night and uh, things are kind of blurred right now. I'm trying to remember what I saw, what's red flag, what's to go for. So, so far we know Dr. G is planning to have kids with this young lady. And um, I, if I were him, I would be very careful. I need to know what she's in it for because... To be having access to the money, that's the most exciting part. That's a red flag right there. And um, everything else looking smoothly. And um, let's see on the next um, episode to see what happened. I'm going to be watching for you guys. And let me know your take. And I will be taking notes next time so I can remember the name of the doctors, what point of view I have on each and uh, you let me know how you feel about the whole thing again phaedra is there i think it's gonna be a hit um dr heavenly gonna be petty and crazy and ghetto as always we love some people love that about her and um oh toya toya <laughs> toya's husband lost some weight and they say in the bedroom things are way better good for them we know toya was always the hot one and her husband was not really in shape and he's doing much better now, which is great. And one thing I didn't see the Indian couple. Uh, I think she got fired. Uh, she's no longer there. So again, I will get more details, more information. Let me know how you feel. I'm going to do another review on uh, Bell Collection on what's going on with the ladies. I also like that show and I watch it too. And um, Huntsville love and marriage Huns Huntsville I'm also gonna give you a take on that one also there's so many things to cover guys Whew, subscribe and let me know how you feel bye